It was an early morning at Twilight's castle. There was a knock on the door and Twilight opened. It was Dorothy who delivered some early morning mail. Twilight thanked her and among the mail was just the morning paper and a few letters. But one particular letter stand out. It was from Spike. Twilight didn't know if Spike was expecting any particular mail. So when she went in the kitchen, Spike asked if there was the Derpy who was delivered the mail. She said yes. Um, he asked if there was the usual mail. She nodded, except it was one letter for him. He asked, are you sure? Yeah, it's from Voldemir. Oh, that was from my pen pal, Spike smiled. You have a pen pal? Asked Twilight. Yeah. We have been pen pals for about a year now. Oh? Who is it your pen pal with? Um, her name is Wolflower Blush. She is an earth pony from Baltimore. Oh, um, how did you even get her to be a pen pal? Well, I was the one day at the, at the post office, I don't know, delivered some package for you, but I a year ago and I did notice that where this pen pal program kind of and I kind of actually just wrote in there and and understand how I was introduced to uh, wallflower blush by mail says bike she knows you're, you're a dragon she knows and how is she in like as a friend though um, she liked it by doing a lot of flowers, actually. She owns her own flower shop in Baltimore. Oh, um, have you ever thought of, you know, ask her to come over to Ponyville? Um, I really haven't, said Spike. Oh, but why not? I mean, if you've been talking to her by letters by over a whole year, then why not? Um... Are you afraid that she won't like you as a friend? No, it's just... You know we have been, been, been a lot of busy lately. You know, it's all of friendship and, and your royal duties. And since I'm your number one assistant... Yeah, I can see where you're coming to, Spike. But, but now this is summer break from the school. And I don't usually don't have any plans for, you know, or any upcoming royal duties or royal summit or something like that. So you could probably invite her for a visit. You know, I should probably do that, says Spike. After breakfast, Spike went to his room and wrote a letter to Wolflower Blush. He then went her straight to the post office and asked him to deliver the mail. Even though he wasn't expecting maybe an answer for the next couple of days, since it takes time for a letter to travel there. But two days later, Spike received a mail from Wallflower Blush. She actually accepted his invitation. And she was writing in the letter that she will be arriving at the station in Polnaville within the next day or so, around noon. He was quite excited to meet his new friend. And during this time, during he was when he was waiting for this invitation or this except his her letter, he had actually told a lot of his friends about Wallflower Blush. And they just asked some of common questions like how she's like or what she liked to do. And he always answered truly. But then the next day around noon, Spike was at the train station and waiting. He was later told the state the train would be delayed for half an hour for some problem with the train. So around 12.30 p.m. the train arrived and Ponis walked off. Then he noticed one particular mare, a green mare, it's, it was wallflowered blush. She saw him and they walked up to each other and gave each other a hug and said hello. He took her right straight to the castle, and they actually had a lot of conversation on the way. Like, he would ask her how it's like to be living in Baltimore, and she said, 
it's um, a lot more, a lot more, you know, sounds. Yeah, you can say that, said Wallflower. Compared to this small town, it's, it's really quiet. Yeah, I mean, I used to live in Cantalon, so I know what you mean. Oh, oh, that's right. You're Twilight's assistant, and you lived there before you moved here. That's correct. Spike took her to the castle, and she had a conversation with Twilight before they decided to just walk around the town to introduce some of his friends and just grab something to eat. Turned out, Wolfflower was going to stay in, Can in Poneville for about a week. And during this time, they actually bonded a lot more than it by even by letters. In fact, she has a lot more good time with Spike. But after, unfortunately, as the week came and went fast by. So, this sad about the hero that she had to go back home after a week. Since she had her own flower shop in Baltimore to be taken care of. But luckily she had one of her assistants to run at the store for her while she was gone. And Spike promised that he would be coming over to see her sometime soon in Baltimore. She smiled and hoped for to see him soon. And of course, they continued to write in letters to each other back and forward to maintain contact. But just before some break was over, Spike decided to go to see Wallflower in Baltimore. He actually went there alone since he was trustworthy enough to do that. And he had actually a great time there also. Unfortunately, as his visit went came as flying fast, he was only there for about a week. But they did a lot of things to together. He did a lot of sightseeing, and she did in, uh, in fact introduce some of her friends to him. And she took him to some of the landmarks in Baltimore to show her around. But after he went home and the summer vacation was over, he was a lot occupied, occupied with helping Twilight at the school and some of the royal, royal duties. But during this time, Spike actually has started to develop his own feelings for Wallflower. At first, he didn't know if she would actually accept her, or accept him as a dragon. Because during this, before this time, he actually had confessed to Rarity how he felt for her. She only liked him as a friend, like a younger brother type. And that took him, he took it a little bit hard. But after some time, he got used to it. But after time, he started to have those feelings for Wallflower. And as they, after the summer came and went, autumn came and went, and winter had arrived, Spike decided to ask if Wallflower wanted to celebrate Heart's Warming Eve with him and Twilight this year. So he did that by letter. Of course, he had to ask Twilight if it was okay. And she was okay with it. And surprising enough, Wallflower actually accepted the invitation. She said that she said that she will be staying all the way to New Year's Eve. And that would give them a lot more time to spend and get to know each other even better. And he didn't know exactly what to give her as a gift. Applejack. She suggested maybe something that meant that something that she had a passion for. And that meant something about flowers, perhaps. Then Spike came up with this idea. He thought to give her a book about some rare flowers. So he managed to get one from the local store in Ponyville. And she just had, she was hoping, he was expecting that she would like it. And during the holiday, though, she did. In fact, during this holiday when she was there, Spike could feel his heart was racing faster and faster for every single moment when he was near her. He knew that he eventually had to telling her how he felt about her. But he was really scared. Just before the New Year's Eve, Spike actually had asked Twilight for an advice. 
She was still surprised that Spike actually had fallen in love with Wallflower. But she understands after all since he told her about the re rejection of Rarity. And the only advice that Twilight gave Spike is to be honest, listen to his heart, and just come clean about her, about his feelings for Wallflower. On the New Year's Eve, Spike did that. Because he did act that during the, when they watched the fireworks. He confessed to Wallflower how he felt. And Wallflower, she was taken aback. She didn't expect Spike to have fallen in love with her. And since when she was just looking at him, he felt that he thought that she didn't like him the same way. And then he just left the balcony and went to his room and locked the door. Wallflower stood there, still surprised when Twilight came out and asked if something was wrong. Then Wallflower actually did, um, actually became a little bit nervous, but she explained what happened. Twilight sighed and said, I knew this probably happened. But then Twilight asked Wallflower how she, how she felt about Spike. Surprising enough, during this time when she met Spike in personally, she actually had developed a small crush on Spike. And during this time on that holiday, it actually made it a bit stronger. Just then she said before, she, but Spike left before she could even say anything back in response. So Twilight suggested that she would go to her to his room to talk to him. She did. She knocked on the door. At first, Spike was just trying to ignore her by pretending to be asleep. But Wallflower was somehow resistant. She was a little bit not easy to get rid of, as in a good way, though. I mean, she told Spike that she wanted to talk to him about something important. He reluctantly opened the door, and they both sat down and started talking. She told them how about she felt for him, and in fact how much this had grown stronger ever since. She was actually surprised that he listened, and he then asked if she wanted to go out with him, since she could stay uh, only for a couple more days after New Year's Eve, and they decided to go out for a restaurant as a date. And the next day, they did. At first, Spike was expecting this going to be awkward, but it was completely opposite. In fact, they had a great time. They were laughing, just talking, and had a great time. But sadly, just before Wallflower actually left, she asked Spike, if he wanted to be his to be her boyfriend, he was stunned. They had even been it's just been only one date. Well, despite knowing each other for about for a year, he said yes. And even at the spite that they live in so far between, they tried to maintain this long distant relationship. At first it was some it had some difficulties. They were not being able to see each other so often as they wanted to. But after a while, they did match the pull for through. And their relationship only grew stronger for each single day. Despite they were not unable to see each other so often, but they maintained their relationship and contact by letters. And during the summer, the next, the next year after, she did come over to spend some more time with Spike. This time she stayed for about three weeks. Luckily for her assistants back home could take care of the store for her while she was gone. And during this three weeks, they had a such great time. And Spike couldn't help but being happier with that. But after a while, 
Wolfflower wanted to be closer to Spike. So she decided to move to Ponyville. In fact, while she was staying in Ponyville, she had actually had talked to Roselock, who owns her own flower shop in town, and asked if she was looking for any for hire. And in fact, she was looking for to hire a new pony. But since she had her own store back in Baltimore, she couldn't just, just close it down. So she wanted to do something special. She promoted one of her assistants who has been the longest and knew exactly how the operations worked there. And that assistant was stunned, but felt honored. And after that, all that papers works have been done, Wallflower later moved to Ponyville. She stayed at the castle until she had her own house. She was even more happier that she could be more closer to Spike. And even Spike was even happier because after all this, all this long distance, now it was more closer. But after about almost another year, she was able to oh, find her own house in Ponyville. And she was just happy to be able to do that. Because her relationship with Spike over this time has sparked even stronger. Of course, they had some argues back and forward like many couples, but they loved each other. And after they had been, been dating for another 10 years, Spike felt that he was ready to propose. He had also been got a ring for her. And he decided to take her out for the picnic, which he did. When he asked her, she said yes immediately. They told all their friends and her family and his family, and they were just all excited especially twilight who was overjoyed she couldn't even explain the happier for spike spike had asked discord to be his best man wallflower had asked applejack applejack to be her maid of honor since they had been getting very close they had the wedding in ponyville of course and even after the party after the ceremony, every pony could see how happy they were together. Spike, when he was dancing with Wallflower Blush for the first time, just looking in each other's eyes, it was like the whole world has stopped. Only the music in the background. But seeing how they were so happy together, all the guests, especially the families, was so happy for them. Eventually, it was time for them to go on their honeymoon. They decided to go to Las Pegasus for two weeks. And there, they had just a great time. Enjoying some magical shows, and having romantic dinners, and just having an amazing time. Both was just happy to have entered a new chapter in their lives. And two years later, Spike and Wallflower wanted to start their own family. And after a while, they later found out that Wallflower was pregnant. And in fact, she was expecting twins. A, a boy and a girl. They, even, they had even thought of the names. And both of them couldn't even be in Apier, especially when they found out twins. They were stunned. But they were happy. And then the day came when the twins were born. They named their son Firefly Comet. Firefly Comet was like his father. Had wings, but he couldn't breathe fire. But he was strong and loyal as always. He always wanted to help around at the home. And his biggest dream, it was to be... A chef. He always loved to cook with his aunt Twilight. And in fact, when he was old enough, he actually did open his own restaurant in Ponyville and eventually one day did marry a mare and eventually had 
two daughters and one son together. They named their daughter Lotus Blossom. She was like her mother, very passionate about for flowers and all that. And in fact, when she was a filly, she used to help around at Roselock's flower shop. And Roselock didn't mind it. But helping around in the flower shop only sparked an interest that she wanted to work there as well. When she was older, around 18, she was actually working at the same store as her mom for full time. Eventually, when Rose Luck retired, she actually gave the flower shop to Wolfflower and Lotus Blossom, who eventually took over the flower shop from her mother also. Lotus Blossom was just happy to have fulfilled her childhood dream. But one day, she actually got married with a stallion, and they later actually have two daughters and one son together. The love between Spike and Wallflower Blush had been an unbreakable bond. Spike was just happy when he first time met Wallflower and how his love for her sparked. And even for Wallflower, before she even met Spike, she was wondering if she would ever find her true love. But she did within Spike. And this is how Spike and Wallflower Blush find a true love got a big family together. The end.